for as loud as it is. What happens inside this Fort Worth factory is kind of been kept quiet. It is, it is, yeah. We're up here next to the NASCAR track. I remember when we first moved into the plant, there was nothing else up here. It is a million square feet where a company called Wabtec makes locomotives. So this is your diesel engine that powers the locomotive. The factory opened in 2013. 800 people work here now. I've been told that you could power almost a, uh, a residential block off of the electricity that, that a single locomotive can produce. But railroads aren't buying new locomotives anymore. Instead, they're asking Wabtec to rebuild their old ones, modernize them. So right now, our modernizations, we're doing about seven or eight modernizations a week through this factory. In August, Wabtec modernized its 1,000th locomotive. The old one there on the left, the rebuilt one on the right. Economists say the reason why is simple. A, a locomotive, brand new, can cost you somewhere between $3 million and $4 million, depending on what kind of equipment you got in it. Well, if you can uh, rehabilitate a good condition, older locomotive, uh, basically you can save a million to a million and a half dollars. And since you need hundreds of locomotives, those numbers add up to the hundreds of millions. This locomotive was originally manufactured back in February of 1996. 25 years later, though, it's here in Fort Worth where it has been stripped down and rebuilt. You know, it's hard to tell looking around, but at least half of this locomotive is the original parts. The other half is all new. And just within a few days, it'll soon be back on its way to CSX, which is over on the East Coast. But Wabtec is working on a potential game changer, an all-battery locomotive that might eventually replace the diesel ones out there now. Yeah, it'd be a huge impact to the environment, obviously. You know, our goal, end goal is zero emissions. Um, you know, we're going to keep working until we get there. It's called the Flex Drive. Still a ways out, but could transform a major part of the supply chain and improve the environment as well. And a little-known factory in Fort Worth will be partly responsible for making it happen. In Fort Worth, I'm Jason Whiteley.